Um, so my name is Heather. I'm from Ireland. So this is Ahlan Bomzag. I am from Algeria. So I'm Marco. I'm from Team Italy. I've been um, in the engineering side. My undergraduate was in mechanical engineering. My father was an engineer and I suppose I'd kind of follow him around the house doing little jobs and um, kind of curious about how things worked and how to fix them. The technology can give people so much independence. I am a telecom engineer and I hope to be a pioneer because I believe that technology can solve many practical problems in Algeria. A couple of years ago, I moved a little bit north in Pisa in order to complete my Artificial Intelligence Master degree. Well, I think that uh, every day technology grows a little bit more encompassed in how we live our work, our relationship and our lives in general. Wheelchair users or those that have reduced mobility, they have challenges in their everyday life, like going to work, taking the train to work. Something it's such a simple task that a lot of us might do every single day. In Algeria, the arable land is quite limited due to the local natural condition. Because of that, I know how hard work farmers since my childhood. I really want to help them to make the work easier, just as easy as we use our smartphones. The idea is to use artificial intelligence to monitor crop growth and detect diseases, so we use a drone. Hospitalization is an unfortunate memory for many of us, yet it serves as a powerful catalyst for change. Yeah, we developed an um, integrated um, AI and computer vision driven automated ramp. It communicates over 5G technologies in order to be able to allow wheelchair users to independently and whenever they want spontaneously board a train. Here we can consult with experts and the sparks that collide with them every time gives us a full confidence. Our aim is to reduce the stress that nurses experience during their work while also minimizing the probability of a missed response in the case of an emergency. Our solution uses AI, IoT and cloud computing in order to improve the work condition of ICU nurses within Italian hospitals. Rediscover our own motivation by seeing other young people struggle while creating a very impactful change in the world. I think one of the most valuable commodities that anybody has in the world isn't money, isn't resources, but it's time. Huawei has opened many doors for us, each of which leads to a promising future.